so yeah just uh, Sunday morning repeat that again um, Sun is shining 18th of December no time to uh, rest on our laurels get out there and get some practice even now I did birdie stroke in this one on my versus golf this week hopefully you've all watched the uh, back catalogue of uh, man versus golf old challenges and realised that uh, yeah it doesn't always pan out that way but uh, yeah 18th of December it is uh, it's quite cold today and uh, later on today I'm going out to celebrate um, a bit belated really, my birthday was earlier on this week, we're at Sunday, we're going out, we're going to Chester. Uh, family trip around the sort of Christmas markets, they're not uh, they're not massive the Christmas markets and uh, a few drinks, something to eat and then uh, back home to the average golfer's humble abode. Um, so yeah, Monday morning in Clark should be interesting, I might uh, have a little bit of a hangover. See what happens there tomorrow. We're waiting on um, the over one lens, which um, I know that a lot of uh, the big boys have reviewed already. It's a change in the thought process, I suppose. Um, all brought about, I think, pretty much by Bryson DeChambro, is it or DeChambro? I don't know how you say that. But uh, he's the guy who sort of. Um, led the way in this, certainly in terms of the tour anyway, but where he's got the sort of science from it all, and, uh, but King Cobra followed suit anyway and uh, brought out a set of clubs, so can't wait to get an older one, and the issue was obviously you can't just, normally they send one club, um, which will be a six or a seven iron, which obviously is what we do the testing on, but it's impossible to, um, for the test on this you need well, you need a full set, but you certainly need a cross section of clubs. So, pitching wedge, seven iron, four iron, maybe. So, you imagine all those things in the same shaft. I imagine it's going to feel pretty weird. Um, so, I think it's a seven iron shaft length is in all the clubs. Uh, I might be wrong with that. Again, I haven't looked into the, uh, I haven't done any research on them as yet. But I'm pretty sure that it's seven iron shaft in all of the clubs. So, that'll be uh, really interesting to see when you've got that longer shaft in the pitching wedge. Um, and then on the other side of the uh, coin is that shorter shaft in the four iron. Dying to know what that does to performance, so really interested to get hold of those. Now then, uh, I've got to stop off fairly shortly because uh, I'd like to think I was, uh, I wear the trousers and rule the roost in our house, but uh, like most men, if I said that I'd be telling lies because there's a, a bargain to be met. Um, in that I'm going to the driving range, yes, but I've also got to stop off and get some things to clip on the Christmas lights on the wall or something like plastic little hooks that stick to the wall. So yeah, so I've got to get those first and then I'm allowed to go to the driving range is the reality of it all, isn't it? Got. Got. We're sorted. Let's move on. surprising but uh, oddly enough I tend to play better golf during the winter months I can't get this card out during the winter months because um, I just seem to have more time on my hands so with the website and uh, the website being shuplow.co.uk that's my uh, Thailand slippers by the way uh, yeah we've um, I play better golf in the winter months because I seem to get a bit more time on my hands a bit more time to practice very much involved with the uh, sort of workings, the administration, upkeep of the uh, Tiplo website during the busy summer months because really that's the core when 
all the reviews are coming in, plenty of activities with the golf clubs themselves. We do get out there and do a lot of filming with the man versus golf hole challenges and also the course visits, um, doing promo videos for golf clubs. But I don't necessarily play a lot of golf, so uh, yeah, ironically, the summer months when it's uh, nice to be out there and playing, getting your handicap down, it's been a real change for me because of the work with the website. I've actually uh, played less golf than ever, which is why the handicap is on the slide and going the wrong way. And uh, like I said, during the winter months, I tend to play a bit better golf, so really enjoyed that session. I'm gonna put this video up, and like I said, um, the reason for coming out this morning was uh, A, bit of practice, but B, also a little uh, Shot Tracer app that we've got, which a um, bit like Pro Tracer that you see on uh, Sky Sports, or at least in theory is, follow the golf ball's flight so that um, when we do the man versus golf hole challenges, um, at the moment with our camera work, we can only pick up the tee shot and likely it is once the ball's left, you're sort of left with my description as to where it's finished. So with this uh, tracer um, imagery, we hope that you can trace the ball flight, see uh, exactly or at least a rough idea of where that ball has come to rest. So we'll just, we're always looking to improve the footage that we put out there. Um, so that's one way that we're looking at perhaps improving and you get a better idea, like I said, of the man versus golf hole challenges. So, you know, and don't forget, check out uh, the Teoplo website because that's really the core of what we do. Um, the YouTube channel is uh, sort of an offspring of the website itself and uh, really just to gain some more coverage um, and drag people into the website. That's our core aim. Um, so yeah, for people who were saying sort of, uh, I read a comment by some clown that said we were trying to eke out of a career of YouTube, from YouTube and uh, that certainly isn't the case I'm afraid mate. Do a little bit of research and find out what you're talking about because uh, the one thing I found out this week is that um, it's been a busy old week in terms of the, we put the Crossfield video out, most people got it, understood that it was a, um, a sort of prominent story, very much relevant to YouTube and very much relevant to the golfing public who follow YouTube, which is why we kind of ran the story on our Thursday night show. Other people didn't quite get it, thought we were jumping on the bandwagon of Crossfield and again, I can understand why people would think that, maybe we did a little. We tried to keep our opinions out of it and put it across as very much a um, what the general public thought. But uh, yeah, the comments are really odd that people on YouTube put forward. Plenty of nice stuff. We're really grateful to everybody who subscribed in this uh, last week of 10 days. Like I said, it's very much on an upward curve for us. YouTube to me is a very simple thing. It, it's a free to air, free to watch channel and uh, you just surely if you don't like something you just don't watch it but if you're gonna pass make a comment make a comment that's relative to the video it's about joining in the discussion that's what we want to try and get going um, discuss current topics and like I said we're here to promote UK golf courses in the main so when there's something worth saying it's of interest to the topic uh, that we're discussing then by all means and it can be a negative towards the topic but uh, I'll always try and comment back, but uh, in terms of getting personal, wow, just literally just man, just switch over and watch another channel, watch something you do like. Surely you must be really, really bored if you A, watch something that you don't like, and then B, take a little bit more time out of your busy schedule to actually pass a comment on something you don't like. Incredible. Anyway, that's enough of the rant. I'm on an enjoyable Sunday morning. Um, so yeah, practice over, back to the editing. Tomorrow, I'm going to take you through a little video about tuplo.co.uk, how the website works and what this whole thing is about, for me personally, the average golfer, and for tuplo.co.uk. So, uh, thanks for watching that. <laughs>